Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to see rule number 3. Rule number 1 and rule number 2 we have already seen. Now, let us see what this rule number 3 says. So, rule number 3 says if you have your f of xy as x to the power m into y to the power n, where both m and n are positive integers, then pi is equal to 1 upon f of d d dash into x to the power m by 2 power m. That is the pi. So, what exactly we have to do in this rule is you just have to express this uh, f of d d dash as uh, 1 plus something and take it to the numerator. The moment you take this to the numerator, then you will come to any of this condition like it may be like 1 plus d by d dash or 1 plus some d d dash or 1 minus d d dash. So if it is 1 plus say that term to be u. If this is like 1 plus u power minus 1 then what you have to do? 1 as it is plus into minus minus u. Okay and there would be plus minus plus minus terms will be there with ascending powers of u like 1 plus sorry 1 minus u plus u square minus u cube and so on. Likewise in this formula if it is like 1 minus u power minus 1 what it should be 1 minus into minus plus u and then all the terms will be plus in the ascending powers of u. Okay now depending on the value of this m and n we have to expand this okay so if so if my m is less than n if my m is less than n then i will expand this function in ascending powers of d by d dash and if n is less than m then i am going to expand this term in ascending powers of d dash by d okay and then after getting the expansion what we are going to do is we are going to operate each term of the expansion on the function x to the power m into y to the power m okay now few remark i would like to make because these are the things that we will be using throughout this uh, topic or uh, in particular to this rule 3 uh, as you know what is d you all know that what is d that we have already seen this d stands for derivative with respect to x right so if d is derivative with respect to x then what is its inverse inverse of derivative is integration so what is 1 by d 1 by d will stands for integration with respect to x okay now here it is like this only 1 by d f of x y so d means you have to integrate this term with respect to x keeping y constant and likewise for the 1 by d dash okay so i hope this uh, rule is clear to you so let us take a problem for the better understanding So let me take an example, solve, solve d square plus 3d d dash plus 2d dash square operating on z is equal to 24xy. Okay. So this is the problem we have and as you can see in the right hand side we have x to the power 1 to y to the power 1. So obviously we are going to use which rule? Rule number 3. Correct? So let us solve this problem. First of all as you can see this problem is about solve means we have to find out complementary function as well as particular integral. That's correct. So let us start with the given thing. It's a good practice to start with the given that we have already learned in 
from the school days we are learning that start from the given thing okay so given this then after given write down its auxiliary equation so how to write down its auxiliary equation its auxiliary equation can be obtained by putting d is equal to m and d dash is equal to 1 so what it should be this is m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0 now find out the roots of this what are the factors of m square m into m what are the factor of 2 2 ones are 2 so m 2m 3m okay so i am getting it so my factors are m plus 2 into m plus 1 equal to 0 so m is equal to minus 1 minus 2 is it so after getting these uh, values of m let us write down the complementary function therefore complementary function that we denoted by cf is equal to phi 1 y minus 1x plus phi 2 y minus 2x where what is this phi 1 and phi 2 where phi 1 and phi 2 are are what are arbitrary functions okay being the student of mathematics you must write all these things precisely okay most of the student when they write cf they write phi 1 and phi 2 are arbitrary constant that is not the case these are the functions okay so take a remark of that and now we are done with cf okay now let us find out pi so what is my pi pi is equal to 1 upon d square plus 3d d dash plus 2 d dash square into 24xy okay now as you can see here in the problem i have told you that uh, depending on m and n if m is less than n then we can expand in d and uh, for n less than m that two thing i have told you but sometimes it happens like uh, none of the uh, uh, none of the cases apply because here x to the power m and y to the power n both are same by m is equal to n is equal to 1 so in such case you can expand this in terms of either d by d dash or d dash by d okay so let me take 24 outside after taking 24 outside i am going to expand this in terms of d dash by d so it is d square common over here so this is 1 plus 3 1 d get cancel 2 d dash square by t square okay into x y now what you can you have to do is just take this term in the numerator and Think this term as u 24 into 1 by d square what is it what is it this is nothing but 1 plus 3 d dash by d plus 2 d dash square by d square power minus 1 into x y now this is like 1 plus u to the power minus 1 okay so its expansion is what we are using 1 plus u power minus 1 so I am using I am using 1 plus u power minus 1 so what it is binomial expansion it's 1 minus u plus u square minus u cube plus and so on so I am going to make use of this okay so 1 so I let me write this thing 1 by d square and it is like 1 minus u what is my u this behaves like u okay so 1 minus u 3 d dash by d plus 2 d dash square by d square okay 1 minus u plus u square now 
it's a smart thinking okay whether to write the second term or not as you can see uh, d dash stands for derivative with respect to y so one derivative of y will gives you x then second derivative will gives you derivative of x with respect to y is zero meaning thereby only this term will contribute to something rest of all the terms will contribute to zero okay and so on into x y now Now what is it? I can just solve. So I am in the new page, so there should be some left hand side should be visible. So pi is equal to 24 into 1 by d square. Okay, now operate these on this. Okay, don't don't think like I have written this and uh, I have just left with this. Okay, don't think like that. Oh, I think I should write one more term in order to avoid confusion. This is like 3 d dash by d plus 2 d dash square upon d square minus and so on x y. Now it is fine. Okay. So operate each term of this expansion to this function. So 1 into x y is x y minus. Now apply this to this function. So this is like. 3 by d into sorry 3 by d into d dash of x y then this plus into minus minus then it is like 2 by d square of d dash square of x into y plus now as you can see one derivative what is it this is derivative of x y with respect to y so what is first derivative this is x outside d dash of y so x derivative of y with respect to y is 1 so what is d dash of x y d dash of x y is x okay now d dash square of x y means d dash of d dash of x y is it so what is it d dash of what is d dash of x y x and this d dash represent derivative with respect to y so what is derivative of x with respect to y your lucky number that's zero right so no need to write down i think further terms you can directly write zero so this is like 24 into 1 by d square what is it x y as it is minus 3 by d what is d dash of x y that is x minus what is d dash of this is 2 by d square into d dash square of x y 0 okay so you can write this as 24 into 1 by d square what is it this is x y minus 3 what is 1 by d stands for integration that's correct integration with respect to x right okay so this can be written as 24 1 by d stands for integration with respect to x so 1 by d dash 1 by d square will stands for double integration of in bracket we have x y minus 3 what is integration of x x squared by 2 dx squared so this is 24 now do integration one by one so what is integration of this with respect to x y constant integration of x is x square by 2 into y minus 3 by 2 integration of x square is x cube by 3 right yeah now take one more derivative uh, to this so this is uh, 24 this is uh, integration of this is nothing but x cube by 6 into y minus this is this 3 3 get cancelled so it's like 1 by 2 x to the power 4 by 4 so these are the uh, this is nothing but the particular integral that we have for this now 
you got your PI, you have found out your CF, so you can now able to write down the complete solution to this problem. Okay, so let me write here. The complete solution is complete solution is also known as general solution. The complete solution is what is it? Z is equal to CF plus PI. That is Z is equal to what is CF? I remember my CF is y minus 1x plus uh, phi 2 of y minus 2x uh, plus pi. So you can just solve and take this 24 out uh, inside of this bracket. 6 1s are 4s are. So this is 4 x cube y 8 3s are 24 x to the power 4. So this is nothing but the general solution or complete solution for the given differential equation so i hope uh, this is making some sense and uh, uh, this would be very useful when you solve problem of the type like rule number three okay so thank you for watching this learning video thank you